This is the Sip Touch 8. We also do the Sip Touch 6, same programming method. Here, you program the distance of the back gauge, we call this X. Totally touch screen, no buttons. We press start and it moves to position. Here, you program the thickness of material. Again, totally touch screen. This is called Easy Cut. You can also have programming mode, mode where you have multiple cuts. Easy Cut is used by most people, and it's basically called Easy Cut because it's as simple as. touch and go. So, if you don't want to use a back gauge and you wind it out to the back, you press that and you press start. This basically takes the back gauge out and tilts it up out your way. To bring the back gauge into action again, you press it once more and you program the figure you want. Press start. This is your retract, it retracts about 5 or 10 mil. By pressing that you can switch retract off. Retract's normally used for like 3 mil and above. This one here gives us the stroke. If I change that to 0.2, the stroke will be a lot less. Obviously this one is milliseconds and it's giving you a short stroke. This one can be pressed and you can give it a quantity. Once quantity is reached it lets you know you press the reset and quantity disappears. You can reprogram again a different quantity. Next we have multi-stroke. So if you're using a short stroke for a shorter piece of metal and you want to cut up to 80 mil and keep shoving the metal forward to trim those 80 mil cuts, you press this and you press start. You can also use the foot pedal as a start as well. You keep your foot on the pedal and the machine will keep stroking to a quantity programmed, or if no quantity is programmed, it will just keep stroking. The minute you take your foot off the pedal, the multi-stroke switches completely off, making it safe to do single cuts again with the confidence that it's not going to double cut. If you do want a quantity, place the figure in there, press multi-cut, press start, and try again. And as you can see, the machine stopped after the third cut because quantity was reached. The easy cut basically is simple. Switch things on, put a measurement in, switch things off, switch them on, switch them off. Simple as that. Multi-cut, no multi-cut. Program size for cutting on X and your thickness. If you've got motorised blade gap adjustment, you will see a material type as well which will then obviously automatically set the blade gap to the correct gap. OK, I'm now going to show you how to program a new program.
It's gone to its first cut that I've programmed. I will now run through the sequence by pressing the foot pedal, holding my foot on the pedal so it does what's programmed, a full stroke or a short stroke, and you'll see the control move, and probably hear the machine as well. I left the retract on so you could see the machine retracting, but to get rid of the retract, you can press that. And as simple as it is, easy cut is once again quickly accessed by pressing the menu button in the bottom left hand corner. If you want to save a program, basically call the current program, press on P, you can save the program, call it what you want, 456, and it comes up as 456. If you want to delete a program, you press delete program. In the memory at the moment there's only the program I've saved, but press on it, delete it. It's still there as a program, but not in its memory, only in the front page. We have other menus, service, machine parameters. You need to get in the machine parameters, you need to put a code of 333, but don't recommend you do it unless you fully understand what you're programming, as you could kill the machine. But there are other menus in here that you can switch things on and off. You can adjust your blade gaps if you've done a blade turn. To come out of there, press exit. To get rid of that at the corner, it pays to switch the machine off. After a few seconds, switch the machine on again. Do a reset on the back gauge. A reset on the front panel, start the motor. And you'll see that it's locked the parameters up again. If you want to clean the screen, either do it with the machine switched off, or you can press the front and you have eight seconds now to clean the screen. Also, we have somewhere, let me find, if you press on there, you can tell exactly where the back gauge is. There is some tolerance of about 0 0.1, 0 0.0 something like that. Um, but to tell that it's exactly in position, if you go into that menu by pressing that, you will see exactly where X has gone to and how accurately it has found the position. You have a user preference for language. You can change from millimeter to imperial. You can show the axis position like I just showed you, but on the front screen if you want. So if we say yes now and come out of there, you'll see that you have the axis position underneath. So one is the program position and the bottom one is the actual position. If you don't want that on, current program, other menus, user preference, and you can switch it off there. Auto cup top, top dead centre, 0.5 seconds, RF link switched off as well. Again there's that menu that we showed you earlier. And then back to easy cut. It's very simple. And any problems we have um, a Sibler agent in the country as well. 
that also advises our engineers should you have any strange issues or strange programming uses um, or even if you want to use the machine as a cut to length line um, the machine will run with many things so any problems obviously we have a service department you can ring just give us a call and they'll help you as much as they can This is where you date on the machine. This is how you get into the parameters. We strongly recommend that you don't go in there unless you do know how to program and have programmed the thing before and change parameters. The code is 333, as in all Sibelic programming. And you can see inside there are many things that can be changed and switched on and switched off depending on the type of the machine as I said before don't mess in there unless you know what you're doing it's normally done by our engineers but they may advise you over the phone how to adjust something to come out of there press exit parameters you'll have the two page orange logo in the corner until you turn the power off and turn the power back on which will then lock the parameters.